What's going on guys, it's Ace. Just thought I'd do a quick little tutorial, well I guess uh, a rundown of um, all the shortcuts and stuff I use when I'm usually making videos. Um, Cause I'm gonna start streaming and stuff like that instead of me answering, answering questions over and over again. I thought I'd just go over the things I normally put into, uh, the normal shortcuts I usually put into the commands here. Um, so I just go ahead and just get started, so not waste any time. Uh, the most basic one here is uh, V, just to enable your selection tool. Let's see, um, let's put a clip in here so I have something to work with. Um, okay, so say your needle's right here in the timeline. If you, need, if you need to get the beginning of it, just tap I, so I'm right there, so you can see that a little better. There you go. Snaps right to the beginning there. Um, Okay, Q is for a rectangle tool there. See how that went right, right to the, um, go back to the selection tool. Tap Q is a rectangle tool. So now I can draw a mask. So that's what I normally do there. And then I got, um, okay. So then if you tap B, the workspace will change to wherever your um, needle is. Your, um, I forget what this is even called. Let me see, time indicator, whatever. I call it a needle. Um, so yeah, B to, to start your workspace at that moment, wherever that's at, and then N to end it, wherever you want. Um, what I'll usually do is I'll say I, want, say I just wanted that this much as the um, composition. I just go up to composition settings, or composition, and then trim comp to work area, so then it goes to that length, but we don't want that. All right, somebody's texting me. Um, next I've got pen tool. Pretty simple. You just tap, you just tap G, and that selects the pen tool, and you can draw masks or shape. Well, if you don't have a layer selected, it'll draw the shape automatically. So hold on, let me draw masks. So you can see that. Fix my um. There we go. Okay. So then you just tap, tap G, select the layer. And you can draw masks really easily. There you go. Um, that. We've got the scale. Okay, so then when you're working with a layer and you want to make changes to that layer, um, a quick way to do your transform transformations is just tap. Say you want to change the scale, you can tap uh, S. That'll bring up scale, so you can just get there quickly. And then opacity is T. Change the opacity there, do fade ins or whatever. Um, R is rotation. There you go, we got that. And then here you got M for mask, but you have to have a mask on there first. So you tap M and you'll have the mask settings. But let's say you want to see all of them, all the um, different settings at one at one time. You tap, double tap M real quick, so you just go that. And then it'll open up everything for you the path, feather, opacity, expansion. Um, sometimes I'll just work, I'll work, I want to just change the feather. And to do that, all you do is tap F. Oh, hold on. There you go. You just tap F. And then you can adjust the feather. Um, let's see what we got after that. Feather. Okay. So let's say I have an effect on here. Let's just add, I don't know, brightness. Look at that, it's bright. Okay, so let's say I wanted to keyframe this brightness. Let's turn this down, hold on. Okay, say I wanted to keyframe the brightness here, I would tap E, no, no, excuse me. Not just keyframe it, just to see what effects I have on here, on the layer, I just tap E, and it'll show you the um, all the effects you have on that layer selected. Um, what else I got here? Ah, A is for anchor point. Forgot that. Forgot about that one. Let's bring up anchor point. Change that. And then we got. Okay, so let's um, let's put a keyframe down. And now I put a keyframe down, but I I can't see it down here in the workspace. So let's say I wanted to adjust that. Um, what I normally do is I, I'll tap U, which will bring up all the keyframes you've placed on that layer. 
see that. So let's say I had multiple effects on here. I don't know. No, let's not do it like that. Whatever. And then I keyframe that. But if I just tap E and then go to each one, that's really painstaking. That's annoying. So what you can do is just tap U and it'll it makes everything a little bit cleaner and nicer to look at. Um what's we got here? Oh okay, so when I move layers around, this is something new that I didn't know for a while. Um you can press the uh, brackets to move a layer to where you want it. So let's say I want this to start at the very beginning of the composition. All you do is tap the left bracket and it'll move the beginning of this layer to, to wherever your needle's at, which at this right now it's uh, we're at the beginning. So let's say I wanted it to start right here, press the left bracket and the whole layer will move to that point. Um, and then the same way with the right bracket, but backwards, it'll put the end at that point. So you can go ahead and play around with that yourself. Um, okay, so let's say I made a change that I did not like, or I was just trying something new and, oops, um, so yeah, I just changed that, the lightness a little bit. Let's say I didn't want to do that. All you do, all I normally do is to control Z, which you guys are probably are familiar with that already, but it's good to at least know that because not everybody, and you never know, you never know what people know. Um, so yeah, control Z to undo, and then, um, what do I got here? Oh, I got control O rip, written down. What's going to happen? This whole thing is going to close, but I'm just going to show you that. You control O, save this, and it'll bring up all your project files there, and you can open it. Let's open this back up. It is, oh, don't tell me I forgot the name. Um, it's something about sleeping. <laughs> Oh goodness. Oh well, let's open up a new one then. Whatever. No, nah, not a big deal. It's just a tutorial. Um Okay, so we got our project file open to save. So I made a change. I hit control S. That'll save automatically. I'll do that a lot. I'd like spam control S when I when I edit. <laughs> You'll see that. Um Okay, then control shift S to save it as a different name if you want it wanted to do that. Um control C. Control C is to copy or like well copy anything. So let me let me show you that. Just grab a, some footage here. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna add here. Alright, so let's say I like how that blurs in and out, but I want it to do it again, like right, right here. Instead of going and re-keyframing, doing that all over again, what you can do is just select all these, hit Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste, and there you go. You got you got the same thing happening twice, and you can do that with absolutely any any keyframes um, and even layers. So let me show you that. So let's say this whole layer, I wanted to say I was going to overlay the same layer twice and give it a little coloration effect. What I'll do is uh, control C. Well, no, excuse me. This is one way to do it. I'll show you the, the quicker way in a second. But yeah, control C, control V to paste. And then let's change my mode there. Oops, I don't want that overlay. So that gives a little bit of different look. Yeah. Um, but no, so what I normally do though, when I um, want to duplicate a layer, I normally hit uh, Control D, which is a little bit quicker than copying and then pasting it. Control D is just duplicate it for you. Um, next thing I'll do to make cuts, uh, it's a little, um, it's a little easier than going like this. It's a little easier than doing this, Control D and then like that. To get a cut what I normally do is um, control shift D and that'll cut it for you right at that moment that you want to cut there we go um what else I got here face control shift D oh okay so a new solid it's going to add a new solid in here with the shortcut I normally use it's a uh, control Y 
And then, yeah. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and Q, put a little mask in there. See what that looks like. There you go. And I got a little black bars there that quickly. Um, let's see here. Uh, new solid adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are super useful. Um, the shortcut for adjustment layer is going to be Control Alt Y. There we go. So now I can. Let's say I wanted to blur. No, that blur. Let's just mess with brightness. Let's say I want to make this whole thing brighter. It'll make everything, everything under the adjustment layer, is going to be brighter. All right. Um, null object. It's going to be Control Alt Shift Y, which I don't normally do that too often. Um, maybe, maybe I will, but I haven't in the past. I normally just go up here and layer new null object. I don't know why, but that's just me. Um, oops, sorry about that. Um. Okay, so new camera. I do use this one, even though it's kind of long. It's a uh, Control Alt Shift C. Uh, just, oops. Uh, yeah, whatever. So then I got a camera in there that I can adjust. Um. Let's see what else I got here. Out. Okay, a couple more things. Oh, pre-composition, that's super useful. So let's say I want to pre-compose all these things so I can make them one layer. That's just Control shift c I just call it pre-comp, that's all good. So now it's that's all one layer. Excuse me, I got downloads going, my bad, y'all. <laughs> um, let's see, Control alt shift e and let's see. Oh, okay, so this one's good. Um, so let's say I was putting effects in and I wanted to put it the same effect on another layer that I see I have nothing in here. Let's say I wanted to add brightness in here again. I think that was the last one we used. But anyway, you can go up here and click the effect that you used last, or you can press this little shortcut, which I normally do, which is a uh, control shift alt E or control alt shift E, whichever way you want to say it. Um, but yeah, so now you got the brightness on that. New layer. Um. Oh, so then let me put that back on. Something that's little. Eh. You can use this if you want. I don't use it too often, but if you press Control um, Control Shifty, it'll remove all effects on that layer, so that just empties out. Um, and then Control All, uh, no Control A, excuse me, is con to select everything. And then we've got Control Shift A to deselect everything. So those are pretty much all the uh, shortcuts I normally use. So when I'm doing live streams, y'all know, at least have an idea. You can have a reference video to see like the things I normally use um, to get stuff done a lot quicker. I mean, we're talking. It, it adds up. It really does add up whenever you're making a big project and you've got lots of effects and stuff going. You can really, really reduce the amount of time it takes. But um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll I'll be sure to get on these uh, tutorials pretty soon because I'm really looking forward to doing it and helping you guys out. Just ask questions, and um, I'm here to help. Thanks.